Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an actual bullet, a 30-06 bullet shell that you can uh, print out and you can wear it as a, a necklace. So basically it's going to be a 30-06 necklace shell, shell necklace. And we're going to be doing that in Design Spark Mechanical. So we'll go ahead and open up the program. And go ahead and go file new, new design. I'm going to go ahead and change this from millimeters to inches. To do that, we just go into the Design Spark options, click on units, and change it from metric to imperial. And we got to say OK here. Sometimes I notice it takes a couple of tries to get it to go, so we have to go, you can do this twice. Units. Imperial, there we go. Now we'll go change that to plan view. I have a little drawing here that I'm going to bring in. Let's use as a reference. Okay, we'll go ahead and view that full size. It's going to draw a reference line out here to see how, how tall this is. Don't want it to be too tall. Uh, I guess I could do it this size and then you could just scale it down if you wanted to actually print one. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and grab the line tool. I'm going to turn on snap to grid. I'm going to draw a line straight down. Right mouse click, finish line. Okay, now I'm probably going to have to turn off uh, these snaps because some of this it won't want to snap to, so we'll go ahead and turn off the snaps. I'm going to get the three-point arc. We're going to come from the point up there down to there, and we're just going to give it a little, a little bow out. We'll get our select tool, and now I'm going to go ahead and Control Plus to zoom in. I'm going to use the pan tool to pan down. Now I'm going to put a little extra piece there but I have to it has to be small so I'm gonna zoom in. I don't want to come out that far. Hold down the shift key it will constrain. And we want to go to there. And we'll go ahead and control minus to zoom out. Let's go grab our pan tool again pan up. We only have to draw half of this, so we'll just revolve it around. So we'll go ahead and go from there down to there and over to there. Now I'm going to control plus to zoom in a couple times. I'm going to hit pan and pan up to the bottom. These shells kind of come in at a chamfer. They go down and then they kind of go straight across and then they come back in at a chamfer. So we're going to Add that detail. We're going to come in from here. I'm going to come straight down. I'm going to come straight over. Straight down again. And then we'll come have that chamfer be the same. Okay. So now we created the end detail. We're going to grab that trim away tool. Go ahead and trim all that stuff that we don't need. So do that. Control minus, control minus. Grab our uh, pan tool. Let's pan down. All right, now let's go ahead and um, select it. Click on the graphic. Hit delete. I'm going to revolve this around, and then we're going to put a necklace holder here at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and uh, select pull. We'll click on the actual bullet. We'll come over here to revolve. We're going to select this line here, and we're going to say, or we're going to click on full pull. All right, that's going to be our bullet. We'll basically pan down. Okay, now I want to spin this. Let's spin it around to the bottom here. Go ahead and click 
on that face and we're going to go ahead and click on plane plan view and we're going to do control plus to zoom in now we're going to get our circle tool we're going to create a little uh, maybe let's just go point two that's going to be our little our little knob to put our uh, keychain holder through now we're going to go ahead and pull We'll pull this out. Uh, I think that should be good. 0.28. Now we're going to get pull and we're going to put a little radius around the piece. We'll go 0 0.3. 0.3, that'll be good. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and spin this. Go ahead and click here and go plan view and control plus. Let's get our pan tool to pan down. Now we're going to create another circle from the midpoint there. We'll go 0.125, which is an eighth of an inch. This should be, should be good enough to put our uh, stuff through. Now we're going to go ahead and spin this. We'll go ahead and select pull. Oh, pull straight through. Let's spin to make sure that went through. Looks like it did. Now we'll go ahead and put a, uh, a little bit of a fillet in here. So this is not a weak point. Pull. All right, 0.1. And then we're gonna go zoom out, control minus. Might be too big of a hole. Let me go ahead and undo that. All right, let's go put a smaller one in there. Maybe 0.0087, that's a little bit better. Okay, you're going to spin this. I'm going to pull, pull that straight through. Now we're going to go pull again. We're going to put a little fill it on there. 0.1. Now we're going to go double click on that circle there. We'll put a, a fill it in here as well. Small one. 0.01. All right, we'll spin this around. Do the same on the back. Pull. Cool. Oh point one. I'll go over here to views. We'll go to the top view. So basically, this is going to be our. Um, our bullet. This will be where the uh, the ring will go through. So basically, we'll hang on your neck like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save this out and we're going to color it in uh, Rhino. So we'll do a save as. Um, we'll call this bullet. And we're going to save it as a native Design Spark mechanical file. And then we're going to do save as again. We're going to save it as an STL file. Put it on the desktop. Now we'll go ahead and minimize. Now we're going to drag that STL file on top of Rhino 7. Go ahead and say OK to this. Now we're going to double click on the top to get a single profile view. We're going to come up here to view and change this to rendered. Now we're going to go ahead and select our material. We're going to import from material library. We're going to say metal. We're going to say a polished. And then we're going to say polished brass since that's what cases are made out of. Bullet cases are made out of brass. So I'll go ahead and let's undo that. 
click on the bullet. We're going to explode the bullet real quick. And we're going to come over here, click on that. I don't really like that color. I'm going to go ahead and try something else. Let's go port for metal. We'll go to the uh, polished. Let's say polished copper. Maybe that's going to look a little better. Uh, they they got a must have a bright light on there because it's coming it's coming in hot. All right, we're going to go ahead and put that on there. Polished brass, and then we'll add one more metal material, and then we'll do a ray trace on this metal. We'll say um, not polished. We'll just say a satin. We'll say satin gold. And we'll bring that on over. Click and drag. Colorize the top there. And then we want to want to scroll back up. Get the polished brass. We'll do this at the bottom here. Okay, and then um, that little piece there, we can just do maybe like a stainless steel. So we'll go ahead and scroll down. We'll add the plus. Double click for material library. Open up the metal. We'll say, um, we'll just go matte. And then we'll scroll down to the bottom here. And we'll say matte stainless steel. And then we'll click that. Okay, that's going to be the end there. So now we'll go ahead and uh, come up to view, and we're going to hit ray trace. This might take a minute. That light on there, the lighting that's coming in on it looks pretty hot. So. Might want to go with the satin on all of this. Let me change this to satin. That looks better. Okay, let's let it do its thing for a second. Maybe I'll adjust the polish here so it's not so. Uh, not so shiny. Okay, that looks a little bit better. I backed off on the polish. I'm not going to go all the way through. The ray trace needs to get to a thousand uh, ray trace cycles. Right now it's on about 500. I don't think it's going to look much better once it gets to a thousand. It's just the lighting source that's on here. It looks like it's pretty bright. So 700, yeah. We're close to a thousand. It's on 800 now. Once I'm done with this, we'll do a screen capture and then we'll end this tutorial. Okay, there's a thousand. We'll do a screen capture, which is uh, on your key keypad. It's going to be the window sign, shift, and then S. And then we're going to click and drag, drag out, capture a, a snip. And we'll go ahead and uh, paste that into paint. We'll crop it, and then, then we'll do a save. Save as. We'll save it as a JPEG. Just call this bullet. Okay, that's going to end the tutorial. I thank you for watching, and hopefully, you got something useful out of this video.